Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to today's tarot reading. So today or this morning I thought we would do a tarot reading for all air signs in the world. Air signs would include Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energies. Um, so my setting is different here. If those of you maybe you didn't catch yesterday's tarot reading. So I'm on vacation this week and I'm specifically I'm in Torrey, Utah. And we're getting ready to check out. We've been staying at a lodge here. It's actually it's a beautiful place. It's nestled up against these beautiful red rock cliffs. And we're surrounded by like all these beautiful huge trees that keep it really shaded and nice and cool. Anyways, it's kind of a majestic place. And the stars down here are absolutely amazing at night. So it's great to connect with all of you today. All right, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libras. Let's get started. Uh, I want to begin, I, by the way, I apologize. I'm on a table outside here and it's a little bit shaky, so it may wobble just a little bit, so bear with me. I'll try to limit the wobbling. But I want to begin today's tarot reading by pulling an affirmation card for you to take us into your reading. Let's just see which affirmation. All those beautiful air signs, spirit guides. Bill would be best suited for us to hear today. Okay. So by the way, this affirmation deck, I'm pulling these cards from this deck called The Universe Has Your Back by Gabriel Bernstein. It's a beautiful tarot set. So the affirmation that we have taking us into today's reading for, for all air signs is right here. It says, obstacles are detours in the right direction. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. So air signs, some of you may be in the energy where you're having to navigate and you're having to work through some type of obstacle in your life. But keep in mind, that many times, and it's, it's important for us to remember this, is that, you know, obstacles along the way, they can be difficult, right? We can take those energies on as being setbacks, right? I'm just stuck in these energies. I'm, I'm being held up here from where I'm really wanting to go. However, I think it's important to realize that a lot of times those obstacles are in place for a reason, right? A divine reason. If you believe your life is a divine journey, um, you know, there may be obstacles that are there in order for you to learn, right? There could be there could be lessons in place, right? Maybe just little tidbits of knowledge and understanding that you just still have to pick up along the way in order to better prepare you for the direction that you're headed. Well, let's pull um, let's pull some tarot energies for on this uh, for all air sides here. Let's get a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to pull three energies from this uh, Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. So air signs. You have present energy, accelerated motion, speed, quickness, right? Um, wanting things to move quicker. Right. Some of your air signs, may, you may be in this energy where it's like, ah, I just want to get to where I'm going exactly, you know, I want to get to my destination, but I keep hitting these little speed bumps along the way. But you're in this energy of, of things wanting to, you're wanting things to move fast. Let's pull another energy for you, air. Tell us about all air signs, please. So uh, we're checking out of here today, out of the Capitol Reef area, and we're headed to Bryce, Bryce Canyon. So I'll look forward to taking some additional pictures there for all of you. Okay, coming in next, air signs. You have foundation and achievements. Uh, this is the commitment card. Uh, this is the marriage card for some. You know, so some of you may be wanting to work towards marriage, right? And you keep hitting these little, these little speed bumps. You know, and that's not gonna apply to everybody, but this is the goal. This is what you're wanting. I mean, it's fourth house energy. So we're talking about, you know, possibly for some, the energy of the home and family. Um, it could be a job, 
as well. You may be out looking for a job and you're just, you know, you keep hitting these little obstacles, these little speed bumps along the way. Looking for a commitment for, for many others. Um, because you're hitting some detours. All right, air signs. Let's pull one more energy for you. These three energies kind of give us the basic framework of what's going on. Then I'm going to use my crystal vision and I'm going to pull some clarifying energies on these. That's going to, the clarifiers are going to give us a chance to get into the details. For some, maybe the hows, the whys, the whos. Okay, coming in next, air signs. You have material and spiritual prosperity. So this is equivalent to the Six of Pentacles, which is a beautiful energy. You know, we're talking about he who gives, receives. You know, moving into an energy where, you know, things are balanced. You're moving into a time and a place where it's like, I know where I'm headed, that the energy, that my energies are going to be recognized and appreciated, number one. Um, you know, and with this recognition and appreciation, I feel like, you know, the energies are, it's going to be recognized. So what I give, I'm also going to receive. And some of you, you know, commit, it's, it's connected to a contract, right? a commitment of some sort, right? and you're in this energy right now, you're just, you're just wanting things to, to speed up, to move faster. Okay, let's pull some clarifying energies. Let's really dig into this and find out what's going on. You've got, you guys have me interested in this now. It's pulling me in. Oh, by the way, so I'm planning on, just like yesterday's tarot reading, I'm planning on, you know, posting some different pictures that I've taken from, from down here in southern Utah. A lot of beautiful red rock formations. Um, you know, I even took some pictures. We saw some petroglyphs yesterday, which is fun. Native American petroglyphs, you know, carved writings on a rock wall. All right, so tell us about accelerated motion, please, for all air signs. Okay, three energies wanted to come out quickly here. So, it's interesting. First energy is the King of Swords, um, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. This is likely representing your energy right here. And I feel like the King of Swords energy is coming up because look king of swords energy when you when you embrace this energy you've arrived at a truth for yourself and typically you arrive to that truth through a lot of different experiences right and it's and it's these experiences that take you to your truth and i feel like the king of swords is coming in to say look you know where you're going right you know your goal the end result um attached to the king of swords you have the page of pentacles right so you have a plan right the building blocks are in place i know exactly what i need to do right to move towards this commitment um and the next energy coming in is the lover's card uh so gemini's energy for all you beautiful gemini's out there um or maybe those of you that are maybe in a relationship with the gemini but we're talking about this is the commitment right here and look it could be love romance it could be friendship. It could also represent the energy of, this could be, you know, your commitment to your job, right? Or your commitment to your employer or your commitment to whatever this is that you love to do, right? Whatever this is that you're headed towards in this direction. Let's clarify the lover's card. Please clarify the lovers for air signs. Please clarify the lovers. Too many energies. Please clarify the lover's card. Okay, coming in next, you have the two of swords. So, in the energy where I'm making a choice, I'm making a decision regarding this connection in your life. And look, if you're not into love and romance, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be about love and romance every time. I mean, this can be about the connection, the relationship that you have with yourself, with your higher self as well. So attached to the lovers, you have the two of swords, right? Either you or somebody needing to make a choice and make a decision here. Attached to the two of swords, you have the seven of cups. So there are lots of options here, lots of different choices here. Um, 
Notice she's receiving all of these cups, but she's not taking on any of those. There's one cup that has a rainbow coming out of it, right? I think this is representing the direction that you want to go. Um, you know, something that's connected to who you truly are at your core, your true colors. Let's, con let's continue to clarify. Uh, let's move down to foundation and achievements. Tell us about foundation and achievements, please. I keep looking at my camera. It seems like I'm bright sometimes and then I'm dark other times. I'm not sure what's going on. I dropped my camera in the jacuzzi last night, so that doesn't help. Okay, coming in attached to foundation and achievements, we have the Empress energy. So Taurus or Libra energy, by way of Zodiac. Um, you know, let's clarify the Empress energy before I see too much. Please clarify the Empress for all air signs. Okay, attached to the Empress card, we have Justice. So Libra wanted to show up for all you beautiful Librans out there. So we have, interesting, we have the Justice card coming up on the Empress energy. Justice bringing you fairness, bringing you balance, bringing you the energy where you have the ability to feel and recognize your value and your worth. This energy is connected to this energy of commitment, right? Or contract, relationship for some. Looking for, right, I mean, once this contract, this commitment comes together, it puts you in this energy right here, which is a beautiful energy. And it's pointing out justice showing up, bringing you, right, this contract, this commitment, this beautiful energy. Let's, uh, let's pull a couple more energies. Tell us more about foundation and achievements. We have the moon card that wanted to come out. So Pisces energy showed up. Please clarify the moon card. Okay, attached to the moon card, you have the king of cups energy. So what we're talking about here is the moon card represents being out at night, right? Almost like it feels like I'm looking at the camera right now and everything looks kind of dark right now. So it's kind of representing that energy where, you know, I'm unable to see everything as clearly as I would like to be able to see. And that could be, you know, why accelerated motion is coming in. It's like I'm, I'm wanting to see and to be able to feel more connected to this commitment, connected to the King of Cups energy. So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, connected to the energy of the King of Love. So, for some, this represents the energy. You may be going through the motions, right? Where it's like sometimes I absolutely feel everything about this connection, this love connection. And other times I feel like I'm in this moon energy where it's just I'm in the dark where it's like, ah, what I thought I felt to be true. Now I have to really kind of trust my intuition, my, my, my primal instincts. And I have to feel my way around, just, just like you are at night. You know, imagine being out at night. You just have the moonlight to operate from, so you're trying to move your way around in the dark. Towards love. And you're looking for justice, right? To show up, right? To bring this connection, this commitment together. Uh, let's move down to material and spiritual prosperity. Tell us about material and spiritual prosperity, please. Three of Wands wanted to come out. Looking forward to the journey that lies ahead. She's looking at this journey that's lying ahead of in front of her and she wants to get an idea of what this journey looks like. I mean, is this journey going to bring me material and spiritual prosperity? Is this journey going to serve my highest good? Let's pull some energies and find out. Tell us more about the Three of Wands, please. Three of Wands. Okay. You have the Six of Cups coming in attached to the Three of Wands. So the Six of Cups, for some, will represent the energy of maybe somebody from your past. You know, so for some of you, you may be in this energy where I'm just wanting things to, to move quicker. I'm wanting this commitment, this connection to come together. 
And for some, it may be connected to somebody from your past. And for others, but it's connected to the journey that lies ahead. Uh, so some of you may be wanting to move forward in a journey with somebody from your past. Uh, for others, I feel like you feel like this journey is going to, this direction that you're headed is going to give you the opportunity to maybe take you back to a younger time, to an earlier time in your life, you know. Maybe an earlier time where you were just chasing your passions and excited about things. Um, and I feel like that'll be the case for some of you. It's like, yeah, this is exactly what I'm wanting. That This is an opportunity for me to feel younger, right? For me to feel more alive, for me to feel more invested, for me to be able to recognize and to feel my value and my worth. Uh, coming in next, you have the King of Pentacles energy. So here's your material prosperity. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. For those of you that are connected to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right. This is somebody who's a hard worker. Also somebody who has a lot of experience in life. It's a very wise individual. Let's clarify this king. Please clarify the king of pentacles for all air signs. Okay, she wanted to come out. So here comes the Queen of Pentacles. Um, more Earth coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Look, at the end of the day, air sign. Some of you, this connection, this relationship, love, romance, work, for some, it's going to be regarding somebody who has quite a bit of Earth in their chart. Um, you know, somebody who's about, you know, I'm working hard, and I work hard, and I'm organized, and I get a lot of things going on. Because I want to have stability. I want to have security in my life. Because look, after all, we're talking about the stability and the security for many in the home. You know, regarding love, commitment, connection in your life. Okay, air signs. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading. I really enjoyed queuing it up and being here and sitting with all of you. So thank you for giving me the opportunity. Uh, look, today, beautiful day. It is... Tuesday, June the 29th. Uh, I hope all of you are having an amazing day today. I'm planning on taking some additional pictures today, uh, which I'll probably post maybe at a reading later today or maybe tomorrow. Uh, and then for today's reading, I'm going to post some of the pictures I've taken in the last day or two. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and sitting here with me. And, and I mean, I feel like I was right here sitting down chatting with you so a great experience for me to have so thank you for tuning in and giving me the chance to share with all of you i hope these energies resonate with all of you and i hope it, these energies help you on your path you know they help you to, to better understand right to just slow down be patient obstacles are detours in the right direction so really they're just they're just speed bumps and many times those speed bumps are in place to to slow us down right in order to have divine timing come together right it's almost like when you rush into something too quickly it's like ah i wish i wouldn't have rushed into that quite as quickly it's about taking your time really thinking things through and letting things fall into place naturally and beautifully okay air science have a beautiful day thanks